Hi everyone, this is Marissa again. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Uh, I'm sorry I haven't been doing a video for a couple weeks. I just got too busy. Uh, today's videos, I am going to do a comparison on, um, what is it called? Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse reverse monogram uh, from my real one versus the fake one. So I'm going to show you guys how to spot on those uh, fake and the uh, real one. So if you are interested on watching this video, please uh, keep watching. Before we proceed with the video, you guys, I just want to do a disclaimer that I am not a professional authenticator and I know I am affiliated with Louis Vuitton and this video is also not a sponsored. So I'm just doing this on my own. All content is my own opinion and um the reason why i do this video is because i have a real one and i was able to borrow a replica one so that's it but if there's other thing that i miss so sorry you can just go to a special authenticator to have your bag authenticated okay so let's go on with the video hi everyone if you are new to my channel i'm marissa again welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in today's video i am going to sh uh, do a comparison between um, my louis vuitton pochette Matisse reverse monogram the real one versus the uh, replica or a fake one i borrowed the bag from my friend so it took me uh, about a week to uh, get it because she's from the west coast uh, she was really nice to let me borrow the bag and i'm gonna return it to her as soon as i'm done reviewing the bag so uh first of all i got two bags and let's see if you guys can tell one of them is fake and one of them is real i'm gonna do a close-up look look it might be the the light you guys because i'm still on my apartment as soon as my kid is done school we i'm gonna have a better place to do a uh, uh, room for my blog so anyway the real one is on my my right hand side and on the left hand side is the fake one if you look at them in person did in uh actually sorry not in person but if you look at them on just a picture or the the camera it doesn't you can't tell the difference but uh when you have them in person the first thing i notice is the weight of the bag the replica one is more heavier than the uh, real one and then the first thing that i notice is the feel of their canvas the canvas this one is almost the same as the authentic except for this one right here the top one the reverse monogram it is really stiff and hard like really hard and then the other thing that i noticed is this little uh, leather tab on above the lock right here i'm gonna show it to you guys right there first of all the the size is much bigger than the authentic one i hope you guys will stay uh the end of this video because i'm gonna attach a photograph close-up photograph on fake and the real one so let's get back to the tab the tab this one is um higher i mean i wider and it's also really hard it's like a pvc so i'm gonna go close up to the camera and i hope the camera will focus on that if you can see the light is not doing it well see how that is i'm going like this i can't even um bend it my real one it's so soft you can fold it down and then the handle also the top handle is also is the same material as the the leather tab about the lock and it's also very hard and i'm gonna do the comparison you can really tell this is the real one and this is the fake one and you can see the difference mine have a lot of creasing already because this is an over two year old bag let me see if my camera will focus right there and also the stamping right there and the stitching and the stitching it's a much bigger and thicker thread than the real one if i'm gonna do the real one if it will focus right there and it's really clean and uniform and also this little piece of leather right here this one is much wider than the real one and it also has a line right here at the edge and this one doesn't have a line if you can see now see you can see the difference 
on the leather and also on the stitching on this part right here and then also on the uh, stitching stitching that they use the thread is also in a different color the authentic one is much lighter right here this is the real one and then the fake one is more brown and also it's not uniform you guys they're um you know how the size of this the width of the stitching this one is more uniform and look at this one how close that is this one is like you know you can tell the uh, craftsmanship is perfect this one is not and it's also crooked when you look up from the front of the bag it's right here the stitching go up i think it's this side yes it's from here and you go up right here it's crooked it's going this way and it's also um the spacing is more closer than the real one if i can show it to you right there and then um I know I feel like I'm doing it really fast you guys but see how the real one is is perfect compared to um, the replica look how the the width the distance of the stitching is like this is really um really close together if you compare to my real one right there they are uniform um the color of the um canvas is almost the same it's just the undertone is the monogram is almost quite the same it has a little bit of the difference on the undertone and also on the reverse the color is not different this one has more the golden undertone and this one has more the brownish undertone but the logo they got it right and the other thing that i noticed is this little part right here the lock the b part this part right here the uh real one is small uh skinnier and the replica is more wider and longer so let's see if i can put them together if you guys can see it don't look at my fingernails i'm waiting for my son's graduation to do it to have it done so right there see this one is much bigger than than the real one and also the color mine is the color on the hardware they did it a good job it's almost the same as mine and the hardware is not metal they also have that little um plastic right here on underneath to prevent from scratching the only thing i noticed is this little two balls right here is much bigger than mine and um when you go to the canvas the canvas is almost the same they did a good job on that one uh the zipper on the back is the same uh mine is a little bit let me see no there yes yeah, it's the color is the same it's just on i'm on the window so the lights um reflect reflecting it differently because there's clouds and sun so the zipper is really good and when you pull the zipper pull is also smooth so they did a good job on that one x uh the the bottom the pattern on the floor the lead the alignment on it is also pretty good and the other thing that i noticed is the um this little leather tab right here and the d-ring the d-ring is much um bigger than my authentic one and as also you can see the authentic one the d-ring tends to fall down because it's um see right here they tend to fall down because somehow the d-ring is skinnier than this one and plus they make this so tight and hard and so the d-ring doesn't fall down so that's what you see see right there and i can put it closer and you can see the difference on the leather uh, mine just looks bigger but it's not there see right there the stitching you can see and then also the glazing the glazing on the fake one it looks more brown mine it looks like almost black if you can see you compare the glazing i'm gonna put my chin like that so this is the authentic one and this is the fake one if you can see the glazing right there if it focus right there this is a more uh 
into the darker blackish color the replica is more brown so those are the things that you're gonna check if you guys are buying them from the online especially like pre-love from other country like japan and even you know like other places in the u.s there's a lot of websites that sell pre-love and people selling them and it's they claim it's authentic but once you get them it's so hard to do you know you you can't tell before buying it and the logo right here they did a good job on the stamping inside is almost the same mine did not say made in paris is a little bit smaller on it see the stamping because uh, mine has a little tag right here said you made in the usa so those are the uh, the difference on the inside part pretty much they got the same amount of compartment inside and uh what else it oh let's go uh, do the um the strap so the strap if you can see there's a lot of kinks on the replica one my authentic one uh louis vuitton is not gonna give you a strap that has a lot of kinks because when you buy them they are very careful on um putting your strap in a nicer way so it, you don't get kinks and the the whole they have one two three four five six seven they have one two three four five six seven so the same amount on the whole and the other thing that i notice is um the what is it called the back of the strap as you can see i'm gonna do the same side see how the way they they cut the floor delete you can tell right there hold on if i can get it together right there you guys see right there those are like you know the thing that louis vuitton would never do and also the strap the replica one is skinnier than the authentic one this is a little bit more more wider than the fake one um the same thing problem with the stitching see the color is also different this is the real one and this is the fake one the thread that they use is much uh, thicker than the authentic one the um the hook this time right here the replica one is more thicker than the uh real one when you see it in person this is much bigger like this itself is wider and also the bottom part the screw right here is much a little bit longer than the real one see how the way i don't know if you can the only thing see my d-ring keeps falling down because see how that that one is it's shorter right here this one is longer right there so you can see and same thing with the glazing the use of brown glazing compared to my authentic one is a darker glazing is almost black and then uh let's go to the um the dust bag the dust bag louis vuitton have changed their dust bag you guys you know that i've been buying louis vuitton for so long the i'm gonna show you three different dust bag this dust bag was from my never pool and i as i've said in my old video that i have them for almost 10 years now look how big the dust bag before it's so huge now they give you a smaller one and also the color on the um the logo it used to be brown and then the material also is much um kind of like a softer cotton and then this one is the dust bag from my pochette metis um the the use the logo is um the color is more bluish darker bluish like it's hard to tell it's not black i know it's not black so when you look at the replica one the dust bag is brown the uh, printing they try to uh imitate the old one a brownish ink that they use but a lot lighter and then also see this is for my uh britney and also um when you look at the stitching on the replica i'm gonna attach a picture at the end you guys i hope my camera will focus 
it's not doing it so um right there you guys it's somehow it's just not adjusting see how the real one it's just finer the edging is thinner and finer and see how wide the um right there how wide the tr stitching right here on the replica compared to the authentic one right there so those are the thing uh, that you need to uh spot on to look at on your bag and the um the quality is thicker a lot thicker and harder than the authentic one then the other thing that i want you guys to look at you got if you bought a handbag louis vuitton handbag from online and they claim it's real you gotta look at the dust bag flip your dust bag inside out this is from the pochette metis dust bag you're gonna flip it and you're gonna see a little tag right here this little tag i'm gonna put my glasses on because i can't read i'm blind so this tag right here has numbers First of all, it said made in India. It doesn't say made in China. Oh, please focus camera right there. It said made in India. No, no, it's not focusing. But there is numbers right here. There's numbers on the top and on the side. It starts with D213 and there's two more digits. And it said 100% cotton. The top one underneath the first line, there is a four digit number. It seems like it's a date code for your um, dust bag when it's made. This one was made in July of 2016. So it makes sense because my bag was purchased in December of 2016. The replica one, there's no tag in it that says 100% cotton, nothing. So those are the things that you want to look at for the dust bag and also i can uh, look at my old one this is a really old one over 10 years old and i know they have it right here so they always have it this is from my neverfull agency 100 percent cotton made in india it did not have those other two missing two number it's missing the D number. I don't know when they start putting the D number. The only, it only have the number on the top. See that number on the top? And it doesn't have the date code. So it didn't tell me when this dust bag was purchased um, or was made, sorry. And my Britney dust bag um, was made in, and they're not consistent, you guys even the the tag that one was skinnier this one is wider so this one is also said made in india 100 percent cotton and it's also have the d number but it changed the last two digit changed, and i'm not gonna tell you that and then this one right here the other number is uh, not picking up but this number on the top i think it's almost the same except for the date code this one was made in november of 2017 so um it it makes sense i bought my handbag just 2019 so it means my bag was been or maybe the dust bag only because you know when you go to the store the dust bag doesn't match with your bag sometimes they'll just grab it in the back and whatever fits in it will they'll grab it so they don't have the specific box just for that because they gave me a bigger uh, box for my Britney because I did not want the smaller one because when they put it in, it squished my handbag in. So those are just a few things, you guys, that, um, what is it called, that you can uh, spot on the replica versus the real. So when you buy them online, you got to... Uh, ask them more picture and don't tell them that you know that you're looking for the tag and just ask and make sure that you got all the um you know the guarant the guarantee that if your the bag is fake you can uh, return it back to them sometimes it's hard on ebay because you know and also especially if you buy free love from japan so just don't say nothing that you know a little bit thing and 
um i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any question please um just make a comment down below and then i will answer as much as i can and uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you guys on my next video i'm gonna try to do a comparison with my um chanel handbag i'm still waiting for the other chanel replica handbag from my friends so i hope i can do that soon and i hope you enjoyed this video so see you again next time bye